Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. I had someone request a video on kind of raising quail 101, what you really need, what to get into, and all of that stuff. So let's hop into raising quail. When we talk about raising any animal, the biggest things we have to look at are their enclosures and food. When it comes to raising quail, the recommendation is half a square foot to one square foot per bird, depending on which kind of source you look at. Uh, sources kind of go back and forth on what quails really need when it comes to space, but that's kind of the concise option. Now, what isn't concise is the space they need up and down. Um, it's either recommended that you keep it under 18 inches or over six foot. And that's because these little boogers like to jump up and it can cause head injuries and broken necks. So when it comes to, if you wanna do a cage system or an aviary, less than 18 inches or six foot and over is the big thing we wanna look at. Another big question when it comes to raising quail is graded bottoms or solid bottoms. And a lot of times this is personal preference of what you want to deal with. I personally use graded bottoms where the fecal matter can be caught in catch pans and it's easy to deal with over solid bottom cages with any kind of bedding. The reason why I use wire is because it limits disease and the disease process and is easier to sanitize when keeping any kind of animal. When it comes to keeping quail, feeding and watering them, there's a bunch of different ways that you can take care of your birds. I personally prefer bowls. With that being said, when it comes to water, I keep rocks in the water to eliminate my quail uh, from trying to drown themselves. Quail are very well known for uh, being very hazardous to their own lives. So I put rocks in the water so they can't drown themselves. And then also they're an extremely messy bird. They will waste all of their food. So to limit this, I will take their food, I will put it in water and turn it into a mash so that they can't pull as much out, they eat more of it, and then it also helps with hydration. Now, since we're talking about food and the topic of food, I like using a crumble when it comes to quail. They have very small beaks, they're very hard to feed. And again, I hydrate that food to turn it into a mash. But when we are feeding quail, it's important to get the right amount of protein. Starting off, I like to use a 30% protein starter, and I get that from our local feed mill. They do really well on it. And this is for young chicks from the age of hatching up to about six weeks. After six weeks, I look at a lower protein, normally a mixture between 14 and 22% game bird feed um, that is mixed with a layer feed. And it's important for me because I use my quail for eggs and I wanna make sure that they get the appropriate minerals and calcium to help support that egg laying. I had to change location because my dog was barking, but we continue on. With that being said, a few more things to keep track of when it comes to quail. For one, quail are bozos and they like to hurt and or off themselves. And two, quails are extremely aggressive.
So some ways that we can limit aggression when it comes to quail appropriate ratios, making sure that you have enough hens to roosters. I like having one rooster per five hens. In my cages that I currently have, which are two foot by two foot, I have five hens per one rooster. And this ratio of one per five works really well for us, especially when our hens really like to harass those roosters and go after them. It also helps out that rooster to break up some of the fights when it comes to our hens because he's kind of like the top dog, so to speak. Uh, don't let him think that. Um, the hens are very aggressive. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to cover was timelines. So let's say you want to do your own hatching eggs, you want to raise your own quail. There are quite a few things to keep in mind. Quail eggs take about 18 days, give or take, to hatch. Um, I can go more in depth on hatching quail eggs in another video if you want, but that's just kind of the abouts. Uh, with that being said, from that point onward, um, they are sexable around six to eight weeks, and that's where they also start laying as well, and that's where we also butcher our quail out at, around six to eight weeks. And they're really a nice size. They're normally about a pound at butcher. But anyway, that's kind of the basics of raising quail, what you need to do, how they work, all of that good stuff. I would love to hear anybody's inputs or their points if they have raised quail, how they do it, some things that they really would like to know when they first started out, and all of that good stuff. But anyway, that's all I have for y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!